We'll be talking all week about travel and what it's like for Canadians trying to take a summer vacation. But this morning, we are focusing specifically on flights. What to do if yours gets cancelled. And we are joined by a woman who knows a thing or two about flying, travel journalist Onika Raymond. It is so good to have you in studio. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. My flight was cancelled yesterday, so I'm happy that I made it here. You are the expert <laughs> in this, in what to do. So, yeah, I'm, one, I'm glad you're here. Uh, but two, I'm glad to have your insight and your knowledge because if anyone knows what to do, you know what to do. Uh, indeed. Well, thank you so much. Um, yeah, you know, we find ourselves in some really challenging times when mm -hmm. it comes to travel. A lot of us are really happy to get back out there on the road, but things like flight cancellations can kind of give us the vacation blues. So I'm happy to share some tips about how to overcome that. You say the fastest and most stress-free option for people who are traveling is to rebook using the airlines app. I would not have guessed this. Yes, you know what? There is no better reason than now or no better time than now than to download your airlines app to your phone. Typically, if there's a flight cancellation, you're going to be sent some sort of email or some sort of notification. You can get right onto that app and get and get alternate or alternative flight options so that you don't have to talk to anybody. It's the least stressful option in terms of rebooking a flight. What do we do if we are canceled? and we perhaps have a gripe and we want to talk about it, is there a platform that would be best for you to go to? Absolutely. You know, I love social media. I'm always posting. You should get your Twitter fingers ready. Twitter is an excellent app when trying to communicate with airlines if there are flight delays or something of that nature because they do not want negative press. So you can hit them up. They will be very responsive. And once again, you can get yourself rescheduled so you can go on that vacation that you deserve. It's almost like having the door open on the conversation, <laughs> right? Everyone can see how they're responding. Exactly. Yeah, you're going to exactly. get the best foot forward for sure. Uh, here's a tip that actually worked for you when one of your flights got canceled. You went to the airport gate agent directly. It sure did. Now imagine this. I wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning expecting to take my flight at 10.30 a.m. Realize that flight has been canceled. I was not able to rebook on the app, so I made my way to the airport and I spoke to someone at the gate. And that is a really helpful thing to do. They can't ignore you when you're there. Uh, and they have the power, most of the time, the gate agents have the power to rebook you on the next available flight. So I would recommend that if you do have a same day cancellation, make your way over to the airport as soon as possible to give yourself as many options as possible. What happened for you when you went to the airport? I went and I actually got on a flight that was earlier than, no. my, than my, uh, my scheduled or my canceled flight. So I was supposed to depart from Austin to Atlanta at 10.30 a.m. I got on a flight to Atlanta departing at 7.20. So it worked in your favor? It really did. Okay, if you're someone with a lot of time and a lot of patience <laughs> on your hands, and you can always try the absolute last option, uh, which is picking up the phone. It is. And you know what? I don't have a lot of time nor patience. Let's be honest. But sometimes there's nothing else to do. So get a cup of tea, call up that airline, uh, and try and talk to somebody. But do realize that a lot of people are in the same situation. We have a lot of flight cancellations due to labor shortages. We have a lot of airlines that are cutting back. Uh, and as a result, this is resulting in not being able to take the flight that you've booked and paid for. So if you do have the time, if you do have patience, call the airline, but realize that this is your absolute last resort. Onika, this is a problem for sure we're seeing in Canada. We talk a lot about Toronto's Pearson International Airport, but you are traveling all over the globe. Are you seeing this everywhere? I'm seeing this absolutely everywhere. Labor shortages are something that the entire airline industry is experiencing across the world. No airline is spared, no air Airport is spared and so you would do well to fly on the first flight of the morning to ensure that you get to where you're going you have better chances of doing that getting to the airport early and really making sure that you pad your events if you're going somewhere for a wedding or something try and get there at least 24 hours before just realizing that you may not make it when you think you're going to make it. So give yourself and give yourself time. Pad your travels or your events by a day on either side at the very least. You know, when we're hearing all of our travel experts say the same things, you know that these tips are gold. Onika, thank you. Uh, we're trying to travel, we're trying to have fun, and you're helping us do it in the least painful way possible. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's great to see you. Happy travels, everyone. Happy Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.